Bitcoin, is this your last chance for buying Bitcoin before it goes beyond 100k? Well, smash the like button and I will tell you everything about that in today's video crypto news. Of course, it is always a wild ride at the Bitcoin chart and we are trying to tell you everything about that here in the show. Of course, we were happy, we were in the green, but now we broke this line we told you we shouldn't and even though right now we are in the green well we wonder if we are going to visit the 53,800 this white line or even this other one around 51 50,000 dollars or not what do you think about that leave your comments below you have here how we're trying to be in the green right now and this is because we had good information out there the CPY was 2.9%, it was expected 3%, so that was a good one, but you see that the weekly candle now is just like last week's candle, so you can see volatility in the market. If we go below 60,000, we go up. If we go beyond 60,000, we go down, and this is the same over and over again here in the monthly. You see we are uh, just below the $60,000. And again, we are trying to emulate what we did in 2016. So we have a nice last quarter. I told you everything about that in previous videos. Watch, watch those charts if you hadn't already. But today we go further uh, so that you have that information in order to decide if this is the last chance or not. And one we have is that we just printed a bearish cross on the daily chart with the 50 MA crossing below the 200 MA, signaling short term weakness in the market. But any case, you see here what happened the last time we were flat for a period of time, but that meant the beginning of the rise. Also, if we go to 2015, 16, that we are comparing all the time, you see the cross here again, we were flat for a little bit and that meant the beginning of the bull run. This is it. Uh, it feels that we are right now emulating those moments, 2016, also last year, not just with this moving average, but also in the chart. You can see how similar it is. If we are going to do the same, well, now flat and then we start going up. Here, Miles is telling us about that. Also, that retail interest is evaporating fast. Apathy is amongst existing market participants, and we have lack of clear narratives. That was the same in 2023 in August. Everybody's in the pitch, but we'll see about that on September, of course. And if we are emulating uh, the last time this period uh, of 2023, well, what happened? flat and then up again. So everything is taking us uh, into that direction. That means that maybe uh, the opportunity for buying Bitcoin cheap are running, is running out, but uh, Bitcoin is asking us for patient. So you have to be patient, but at the same time you have this opportunity, which is awesome. Remember this chat, just 34 more days till we have the decision on the Fed and 81 days till we have election in the United States. We are following these charts and more like this one. Did you know that Bitcoin post halving history meant a consolidation for 170 days before breakout in 2016, a consolidation for 168 days before breakout in 2020, and that we are just now about 129 days? So yeah, again, we have to wait still for another month, but we can make it Consider then the top on average Bitcoin peaks 480 days after the halving. We are currently 117 days after the last one. And here you have eight months to new all time high that happened after halving in 2016 and after halving in 2020. So again, maybe we'll be around November, December 2024 in the $70,000 range, which would be awesome. And we believe it's a possibility. Here, better explain with CryptoCon and you can see how the cycles 
a repeat in Bitcoin 2012, 16, 20, 24. And you see here one top in the second top, one top, the second top, one top, the second top. Right now, one top in the second top. Differences that we are having this time. Well, it was so fast how we got to this new all time high as difference with this long blue uh, part here too and also here. So that's why you can see that on top, now we are consolidated for longer time that we did in the past. But in any case, everything is quite similar. August usually is the worst of the cycle. And then we go up in December. January is a very good point for a breakout. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Van Eck predicts 325,000 Bitcoin in the coming bull market. And Michael Saylor is predicting Bitcoin uh, reaching $13 million by 2045. Consider a lot of information that would bring us into that direction, like that in the first quarter of 2024, 874 institutions reported holding Bitcoin ETFs. But now in the second quarter, 1,008 institutions reported holding those ETFs. 1,950 funds have reported owning Bitcoin ETF holdings with 701 funds for the first this quarter, according to Bloomberg. And Morgan Stanley reported owning 5.5 million shares in BlackRock Spot ETF. So those are amazing news. Also, Marathon just bought 4,144 Bitcoin for 249 million, holding right now over 25,000 25, Bitcoin, which is crazy. These are the top 10 Bitcoin holders. This is getting interesting. Shatoshi Nakamoto, Binance, BlackRock, Grayscale, MicroStrategy, Bitfinex, US government, Chinese government, Fidelity, and Block One. And again, Goldman Sachs bought 418 million uh, in the last quarter. So amazing. Also, the Swiss National Bank now owns 466,000 shares of MicroStrategy. The Wisconsin Investment Board bought another 15 million of this BlackRock Spot ETF. Those are major news, but we have more. MetaMask launched a debit card in partnership with MasterCard. So good for adoption, of course. Apple opened iPhone payment chip to third parties, allowing Bitcoin in crypto. Tap to pay future. That's going to happen. Also, the CEO of Circle announced that tap to pay using USDC on iPhones is coming very soon. And if you want more, well, the Trump organization led by Eric Trump is set to launch a new revolutionary cryptocurrency project aiming to provide financial independence and challenge traditional banking norms. This is Trump family into crypto. Donald Trump now holding over a million in Ether also received NFTs licensing fees like crazy. He has to tell us, and now we have all that data. He's becoming richer thanks to crypto. And if you want more bullish news, well, Russia crypto update. The Russian minister said today the new trade law allowing crypto for settlement has been accelerated to starting in five weeks from today. That's approximately September the 19th. This is a major crypto macro event. In my opinion, Russia trade is in the trillions annually. And if you want to know for how long Bitcoin has been profitable, well, 96.2% of its life. Over the past 5,109 days, Bitcoin has been profitable for 4,915 days. What else do you find out there similar to this? Nothing. But still, the market is fearing. Why? Well, because these moves of Bitcoin that the U.S. government uh, is doing to Coinbase, we'll see about that. And also, well, because we fear governments. Richard Nixon, uh, exactly 53 years ago, uh, suspended the gold standard. And you know what happened to economy after that. We lost all our power. Now, uh, if you want to buy a house, good luck at the time. It was just around $11,000. And also, uh, he interrupted was terrible. The show Bonanza, just for telling us that the economy was starting to go 
are, are in a really, really bad path. And now Bitcoin may be that gold standard again. Ethereum, just same as Bitcoin, trying to go up again, but we uh, were unable of breaking the 2,700 and we still have the gap, upside gap in the $3,000 range. Yesterday, the spot Bitcoin ETA saw 11 millions on inflows, which is awesome. But, uh, well, we have this movement from empty Gox and this is not good. Still the redistribution out there. The bubbles, green and red, the market a little bit crazy today. Of course, you know about all this with Dextools.io. You have the link in the description below. You can know the winners, the losers, the hot pairs, and also create your own tokens. If you want to know more about all this, well, you can come with us to Blog Galicia. It's the best venue. It's going to be 13, 14 September in Palseco in A Coruña. And I'm going to be there. I'm going to participate in several events. And we will record, of course, a video. And if you want to join us next week, I will tell you about tickets, prices, and special offers if you use, of course, our links. As if you use the link in the description below for buying a treasure, you help us. Thank you very much. Next week, I'm going to create a dedicated video about those sessions with experts that you can have if you want your own boarding to treasure with an assistant. So watch that video next week, of course, and use the link in the description below if you want the best tracker for your portfolio with a 10% discount. This is coin tracking. This is the one I use. They are partners. Thank you very much, fun on the ride. And we are happy that uh, we are validating like crazy three blocks in a row as we did always with our pool on Cardano. So if you have some ADAs out there, come with us, validate with us on fun, on fun, on the right stake pool. Just one thought for today. Gratitude is abundance. We suffer a lot with the little that we are missing and we are not enjoying the whole thing that we are having already. That's the thought for today. When this cat, you saw the light. I saw it. I believe now in Bitcoin. And what about this guy exhausted after all this information? But if you want more, if you want to learn about AI and how you can make these crazy things with Grok2, well, of course, go to our channel AI News, where you have the last video with everything about that. And you have a lot of videos uh, teaching you everything in a humorous way about AI. If you want more about crypto, of course, one of our 1,900 videos we have here on crypto news, fun on the ride, health, money, love, pouring peace, and the best is yet to come. To the moon!